Uh, my name is Jesus Pinedo Cervantes. And what country did you come from? I am born from uh, Mexico, uh, Guadalajara, Mexico, to be exact. I found myself growing up quickly. Uh, my brother was diagnosed with leukemia at age of two. My brother was given uh, an option whether he stayed in Mexico, you know, he wasn't going to be able to survive leukemia. And we we're given that opportunity, or not even that opportunity, we we're given the option to come to a country that we, as younger kids, knew of as we were studying about the world and where everything's located, but never found myself to be coming to a country. So it was scary, like growing up, knowing that the only way that your brother, or your best friend, was going to survive was to migrate into a country that it wasn't where we were from. Your brother, he, he to this day, he, he's a survivor. He is a survivor. Um, you know, I'm really proud of him. He works at a firm, and it's just it's amazing to see you know what this country, as we said, we were given a second opportunity and. Um, he's doing so well. Um, he overcome it. He's getting treated every year. He's in remission, so he's able to, you know, say he's a survivor and I'm really happy for that opportunity that he was given to. I mean, for me, I'm very family oriented. I mean, I always say I'm putting my family first just because of what my parents put us first in order for them to leave their home country to, you know, find a cure for my brother. We struggle to be, you know, accepted. I remember first going into the elementary and I could remember, you know, being the first Hispanics in that elementary. Um, I was taught the not so good words. So, and then what's up was my first word ever. So every time I was introduced, my first word that I come out of my mouth was like, what's up? And just not being able to communicate with my classmates. Um, but only that, it's uh, just seeing my brother struggle because of bullying, um, because he had no hair. He had catheters and feeding tubes while I was in school. Um, it was a struggle, not only for him, but for me. The, at that time, the ESL program was very limited, and um, I mean, we had to sort of learn quickly too. You know, that either I learned to communicate the basics to try to half my classmate understand that my brother had an illness. You know, just like any other illness that prevents students uh, from being physical activity or doing anything, um, it was it was hard. In ways, you know, I feel that a culture accepts you based on who you are and, you know, where you come from. And at times, you know, in my successes, they know who I am and, you know, the things that I've achieved in my, my, my goal, you know, you kind of build that, that respect. Um, but I mean, for me, it was accepted when, you know, I went to high school. You know, because I, um, I was the first ever making it to the varsity soccer team. Um, so not only was I going to a middle, uh, a junior high, but I was playing high school. Um, so it was not necessarily of my level of English, but in fact, it's what the ability that got me to the position that I was. You know, I always saw soccer and dancing like a, a, a language that regardless of the language barrier that I had here in this country, like that was the language that I was able to speak at the same level of any, you know, US citizen, any, at times I felt like I was speaking that language better than any of them. I've worked with kids diagnosed with leukemia and lymphoma. Every summer I go into an island and um, kids who are being bullied throughout the whole year of school who drop out, they go to this camp and just be normal kids, you know, like healthy kids. They get to do the activities that kids with no illness get to do, horseback riding, kayaking, and they're not judged, you know, based on their indifferences, whether they've, you know, lost a leg or they're bald. Like, that's kind of my priority. We are built by all of the obstacles that we are encountering in life. We all struggle. Um, 
but everything's gonna get better you know just never giving up and always having that someone that they can you know help in the future um, so I just always try to to help whoever is in need whether it was a church a hospital just changing lives and then like I just um, that's kind of what I was giving my life changed completely and that's what I'm just hoping and whether it's through my community or my my race whatever it is I try to change a little bit